Hello, good evening and thank you for joining us during a very special time. We have a very special guest here tonight. She comes from the distant state of Alaska, and she has a new show that just came out called Sarah Palin's Alaska. Please welcome the one and only Sarah Palin. Thank you, Larry. It really is a pleasure to be here. Now, Sarah, I was actually surprised when I talked to our producers. They told me that you were not here to promote your show. Instead, they said that you came to promote something from a completely different state. It's true, Larry. As much as I love the state of Alaska, with our salmon, totem poles, and Russian neighbors, I have felt compelled to talk more and more about the beautiful state of Ohio. It means good morning in Japanese. Did you know that? Yes, I think I did. Anyways, there's a wonderful man in Ohio who I would rather talk about. He is doing something wonderful about festivals and I cannot stop thinking about it. I am simply befuddled. Are you as surprised as I am? It's true. I have been following the adventures of the trapped 300 pound man at 300 poundadventures.blogspot.com. Now that you say that, I realize that I have heard of this. Tell me more. Well, I guess it started when he just wanted to find something to do. Before you know it, he went to 28 festivals last year about pawpaws, skunks, grapes, melons and even the old Cleveland host, Goulardi. 28 festivals. That is pretty impressive. That's only the beginning, Larry. This year, after going to festivals about twins, quilts, pumpkins, bratwurst, pierogies, perch, walleye, smoked meats, woolly bears, coal, deer, stern boats, popcorn, Hungarian scouts, pets, blueberries, strawberries, hot air balloons, dragon boats, lighthouses, duct tape, Dean Martin, fish, the arts, ice cream, dandelions, migratory birds, gays and lesbians, community, and every ethnicity under the sun. He is about to reach 100 festivals. 100. That's incredible. Indeed it is, Larry. In fact, he has driven more than 7,500 miles to see all of these festivals. And all of this in the state of Ohio. That is basically the same as three cross-country road trips. Exactly. But what is important is that he is making history. And we can all be part of history by meeting him at the 100th festival. But how can we do this? Go to Cleveland's Holiday Circle Fest on December 5th and be a part of history. There, you can meet Christian Campana, the writer of the blog Adventures of a Trapped 300 Pound Man. My producers tell me that he also runs the Ohio Festival's pages for Facebook and Twitter. Indeed, Larry. You may also contact him that way and tell him you wish to join him for the 100th festival. There will be an ice skating rink, gingerbread decorating, free carriage rides, holiday music and so much more. Count me in. I may show up myself. Great. And so should you. Go to the Holiday Circle Fest on December 5th and take part in some wonderful Ohio festivals. For more information, go to his blog at 300poundadventures.blogspot.com under the Schedule tab. There you will find the link for the Holiday Circle Fest. You won't be disappointed. See you there.